Welcome back to Banjo Tooie. All right, Grunty Industries, sick of your ass. It's time to go do everything that we missed in there. Well, it seems like you're fed up with it. It's more like a Banjo Patui. <laughs> Spit on Grunty Industries. Starting early, okay. I'm sorry, I kind of spit all over Grunty Industries. You know, you're 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 really silly. Is that gonna stop us from? You're getting you're 100%? really you're really goofy. You know that. Is it going to stop our progression? I'd say that's even a little banjo screwy. Hmm. <sighs> you know, if we take some dynamite to this place, it'd be Banjo Kerplooey. You know, my favorite character from uh, Family Guy is Banjo Stewie. That was mine, damn it! I had it right Sh there! Should've used it, but instead I, d I got it to you first. Uh, so, a lot of the levels already kind of open up a lot. Uh-huh. And, uh, we need to do a lot of this level by splitting up. So there's gonna be just a whole lot of going around and may not be the most, uh, you know, structured thing in the world, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. I see you judging your options. Yes. See, okay, I can I can jump there, because my option I, I I want to get to that flight pad. Oh yeah. Because I don't know if we turn it up, but Kazooie can fly yeah. on her own quite quite well actually. Imagine that. Yeah. Huh. She's, she's crazy. What can we still do out here? Well, uh, there is one jiggy I do want to get. It's the one in here that we uh, tried to get a couple episodes ago, but uh, didn't really go so well. Go in here, and we're up high on floor one. Hmm. Now, Banjo can't make it down here, but Kazooie can. In fact, uh... if I, I think I see Banjo down there right now. Oh, hey, yeah, if I turn the camera this way, can you uh, see? Uh, maybe, maybe I can uh, turn uh, it. Uh, oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> All because you wanted to see your stupid bear friend. Hi, Banjo. Hi, hey, buddy. Oh, hi, Kazooie. Yeah. Where have you been? Yeah, 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 run back out. Shut up. Yeah, fuck it. I can actually see she just okay. had, just has the clenched beak and it's like, shut up, Banjo. So just uh, get a running start and yeah. jump for it and then fly for it and that's how you reach it. Ding. It took the jiggy. Well, now what? You gotta kill six of these things, and it might seem kind of hard because they're a little bit invincible, and uh, see we can't really do much in terms of offense right at the moment, but hey, there is a thing we can do. We can come right over here, we can get ourselves a refill of a special type of egg, typically grenade eggs. Oh, we're gonna start shooting! We're gonna start shooting at them. Grenades definitely work best. They kind of want us to do grenades most of the time. Well, that's good. Matter of fact, out of all the egg types, grenades are the ones you really need to worry about the most. I like how we're just getting all of this ammunition just to throw all of them aside for the one that explodes. Explosions solve everything. You're aiming pretty good. You got a flight stick, didn't you? Uh, You're secretly uh, playing Microsoft Flight Simulator, aren't you? Uh, no, um... <laughs> Let me get my Xbox back! Uh, I'm not flying to Brazil I, right now! I gotta see the save data! Got to verify the safe, is that it? <laughs> yeah, I can get a little closer to get these guys a little better, but... Oh, I forgot they're homing. Yeah, yeah they're homing, too. Right. Nice, nice. Okay. Two. <laughs> this guy over here when he opens up. Speaking of Microsoft Flight Simulator, have you realized that... What? The only thing a lot of people like to do with that game is find where they live and crash into it. Well, yeah. What else do you do in Flight Simulators? Fly the plane? Learn how to fly? Because you're like a pilot or some shit? Nah. Or, you, or you're interested in that kind of thing? Or you, you know... See, thanks to Goat Simulator, I keep thinking the the last word, simulator, is just a gag game. But no, a lot of these simulators are the real deal. Some of them are actually simulators. Some of them have a purpose. Like Bee Simulator, your favorite game. I've never played Bee Simulator. It exists. It's that's your not, favorite game. That's not going to be fun, though. No, just going around like a bee. It's just, it's just doing bee things. I think I might get a little hairy when I start doing the circle dance with them, but... Uh, there we go. Alright, I gotta get uh, Kazooie up to some places now. I gotta unlock a few things. Cause, because one of the things I'm definitely gonna be doing here is beating the boss. Oh, okay. If we, if we do nothing else, we have, to, we have to get the boss. I'm gonna try and get as many jiggies as we can, too, because... It's been like a few weeks since I played this level. I'm like, alright, 
I'm not gonna let you fuck with me like this. Grant Industries. I mean, everything's pretty much unlocked. I just gotta, I just gotta do the thing. So here I am doing the things. Here's the redemption arc everybody asked for. It's time to take down this GD Grunty Industries. Show it who's boss. Okay. Uh, now that we're done with three weeks worth of prep, it's time to take it down. The little guy over here, the rare box over there. Can't really get it as Kazooie. So is Banjo just useless at this point? He's not useless. He is actually very crucial. Oof. But the thing is, if Kazooie had her own game, it would sell gangbusters. If just Banjo had his own game, it wouldn't do great at all. Because Kazooie's great. She's fast. She jumps high, and she 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 she, she flies too. Great maneuverability. Banjo is slow and dumb and fat and can't jump. And, and, you know, despite all him being a bear, can only do much with the, get, you know, do some things with his claws. That his, his backpack! No. No claws, just backpack. That's it. So why do you think Banjo-Kazooie sold so well? You think Kazooie Off slipped- Off the raw star power of Kazooie, yes, the, obviously! Sl slipped a 50 in there, and it's just like, hey, can you- Can you advertise me a little bit more? Oh, yeah, sure. So there's a battery over there. We'll switch to Banjo and get him up to the third floor to do it. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Yeah. Took me a second to realize that this elevator shaft is a way to get up. Go figure. Wait, elevators go both ways? Yeah, you can just climb up the th the rope. But the thing is, what? that means you can only do that. Like you, you can only climb the elevator shaft when you are either Banjo or Banjo and Kazooie. If you are Kazooie or a Washer or Mumbo, you can't. Okay, you I gotta would, find another way. I would laugh if the Washer could do more than Kazooie. <laughs> Nope. It... But I'd argue the washer can do more than Mumbo. Well, yeah, you got him there. So we still got one more thing to do as Mumbo here. We have to do. Could have sworn we were done. But right now we got this battery, and now begins the interminable saga trying to figure out how to get Banjo up to the <laughs> boiler room. <laughs> Where do I go? Zooey! You... Zoe! Here! Oh, come on, Banjo, you can totally grab that, you idiot. Uh. So are we, like, raiding the Gears of War supply closet? I see a lot of cogs. I can't tell if they're cogs or tires. Well, I mean, those right there, they just look like nuts. Maybe it's, like, some failed experiment that Grunty had. Cog tires. <laughs> God. You, you know, Grunty, kind of mark that off the list. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, no, no I, I don't think so. I mean, I know this wasn't updated after the fact. I mean, with a couple things alluding to Microsoft, you know, the finally having stop and swap work and all that fun stuff. But I just see cogs see, on the boxes and just think Gears of War for some stupid reason. You see, the thing about those tires is that Grunty didn't have to do that. She didn't have to, you know, you know, she, she, she didn't do it for her business or whatever. She mm. didn't, you know, do it to make money or anything like that. Not even to, to, to defeat the Baron Bird. She did it by herself because she wanted to. She did it of her own cognition. Ooh, that's good. Oh, uh, that's how we do it. Hey, do you remember when we were having fun with this game? I remember it was back in Banjo-Kazooie. Now it's kind of, uh... <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm not having fun. No, there's still some fun to be had. It's just there is there is plenty of fun to be had. I thought I could do something with this. I guess not. I gotta do something later with that, I suppose. Well, oh well. Well, oh well. Ooh woo. Cause in between here is another battery door. Hey, there we go. Which leads to the packing room. Is it full of guns and a guy just ready to shoot you? Fuckers packing. It's 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 just where the Green Bay Packers go. <laughs> it's where they go in their off season. So that is the final battery door, I do believe. Oh, thank God. Maybe. Thank I'm pretty God. sure. That's either the last one. There's one more. So now we got to get Kazooie up here to the boiler room, and uh, it was so difficult for Banjo to do it. Uh, how easy will it be for Kazooie to get up to the boiler room? No, oh, probably really easy because she's nimble and quick. And we already got there earlier, basically. And doing all their flips is just freaking sick. Not to mention she's a fucking bird, so uh, yeah, just fly over there, you know, yeah. Hey, look at that! 
Go figure. I'm gonna start a petition online to get just a Kazooie game. She doesn't need Banjo. Hey, Daxter got his own game. Why? Because PSP. Was it the quips? So you can go as either Banjo or Kazooie, but I recommend going into here as just Kazooie. This is the Twinkly Packing Challenge. Aw, we get to pack up Christmas lights. Twinklies are back. Because of course they are. And essentially, Twinklies are gonna pop up here. Uh -huh. we, gotta, we gotta run over them and grab them. And we gotta take them to those loading stations over there. We can grab, you know, there, it isn't like, you know, grab one, take them over there. It's run around, get some, and put them into the bin, so. Gotcha. Red ones are one, green are two, blue are three, of course. Mm-hmm. That seems more like a Duck and Country thing, really, because of the balloons that they have. Yeah, it huh. does. Those are the colors of the balloons. I think some ideas that were supposed to go into Banjo 2, we went into Duck on 64 and vice versa. Now, audience, this wasn't the reason we chose these two games. <laughs> There's no conspiracy here, but I think you're absolutely right. Mm. So we got some shoes over here, though, because we can just, you know, Boom. zip on by. She's already fast enough, and then this makes her... Boom. This, this, Boom. this makes this completely comical. Boom! Boom! Got him! Got him! Always be going for, uh, Twinklies. Try and go for the green one, like... Try and go for the green ones, because the blue ones might... You just gotta kind of run into them, and they're not very common. Yeah, I noticed they're showing up and disappearing almost immediately. And they're fast. There's lighting all around the room, on the floor, which is really nice. So you can kind of see with your peripheral vision where some of them are. Hmm. So I can see, oh, there's a, there's a green one over here. I'll have to go run over here. There's a blue one over here I can go for, but there's a green one over here. I can get the blue there's one another over there. There's another it's green one. It's just over there, and uh, basically we get one more and we're good. Oh, 45 was the final score. Nice. Eight, seven, and seven, seven. And there we go. Huh. Congratulations. It's you perfect. are it's perfect, packing. Yeah. Oh, sweet dude, you got a bonus on your first day. Well, look at you. I got all those derms. <laughs> Call me an elephant because I pack a derm. <laughs> okay. You guys can't see it, but I actually saw him actively focus on that one for a good five to seven seconds. <laughs> hey, do you remember when we were having fun? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that first world, huh? Whoa, All yeah, right. What a keeper. What next? Uh, let's see. We need, check, to, we need to get Banjo least. alone. Try to remember what is... Uh... In a back alley. Yeah. <laughs> so we can shoot him. <laughs> Banjo's fucking dead. Where's that a? <laughs> is that a battery ass over there? No, I think I got that one. No, I didn't. Hey, oh, another battery. All right, there is one more battery door we need to get. And oh. I think I know where it is too. Ah, okay. Oh. All right. Put a sock in my pasta. You got it, man. You done got the battery. Gym soccer or tube sock? Whatever you got. Oh, I've got her crew cuts. <laughs> Just put them in there, cause cook pasta. <sighs> ne never mind. Cook pasta is squishy, like wet feet. Don't look at me like that. Just run you're with just it. saying those words. I think just you're. I think you're just it. saying words and not knowing how, or what. I try. I I have tried Went to put far. things together, and it's not working. I gotta say though, with everything kind of unlocked, uh, this is way easier to maneuver now. See, it's all about the prep work. When you get the prep work done, then you can get everything else done. All right, so we zip on over here to the crushers. Oh, we gotta go all the way down there, and that's Banjo's very slow. I think it might be slow because he's carrying something. I'm not sure, but he's. They made him slower. He's very slow. Need to get him like a speed up or something. That would be a great power up. So up there is the sewer access where we where we get rid of all those poos. But down Poo. here, yes, the final battery yes. door, the cable room. Yes, we did it. I did, we I didn't do Jack. And you did there. It. Yes. This is, uh... This is a ridiculous one. 
Show it to me. This is the quality control oh, jiggy. God. Ah! Ah! Really faulty cables. She just has them going all along a metal floor. That's that's. Well, she stripped out the copper out of them, so I totally understand. Extractor fan not required. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. You know, now that I've played Metroid Dread, I always imagine mechanical voices sounding like Adam. <laughs> now, what do you do here? This is kind of a ridiculous one, too. We need Kazooie here. Rare! Okay, well... But is that a real Jinjo? Is that a real Jinjo? You think it's a real Jinjo? Well, of course not. Fuck out of here. Damn it. Alright, nothing down here in terms of switching over. So I gotta go exit the cable room and then get into that sparkly bit and get Kazooie up here. All we found down here was my broken dreams. Not to mention, Banjo only has one bit of health left. Banjo might die. He might die. He will die. He, he could die. Doesn't mean he will. I have no idea how you navigated that. You're gonna make it. It's okay. It's okay. It's See, I always knew you were a super, ah! uh, super awesome power gamer. I never doubted you for a second. Yeah. Uh, the betting will now close. Um, I lost. So, everybody come get your money. UDJ is, in fact, a superpower gamer. Let me get Kazooie up here, no problem. Just warp to, to the fourth floor, and then have her go past there, and then have her over here. And now, they're ready to take on the quality control together. The way it should be. Kazooie, this feels Dick. great! <laughs> so, uh, this is... A timing mini game. It might seem impossible, but it's really not. Mmm. Okay. So, you see these barrels? Yeah. You gotta shoot the rare one. Got barrels here. There's the rare one. There we gotta shoot the rare barrel. The rareal. The barrel. Rare. The rareal. The rare barrel. Rare rareal. <laughs> no, rare wait. Those are nuclear. Don't shoot them. I think, uh, oh, I need the grenade bang. Of course. There yes! Go. There we go. And then they start adding a little bit more. Oh, it's a shooting gallery. Yes. Well, so shoot the barrel, win a prize, kid! Uh, uh, Alright, uh, well, alright. You fail! Would you like to try again for another dollar? Fortunately, they're not that mean. If you shoot a rare barrel, it will not go, it will not, like, revert. Like, if I shoot a rare barrel and I shoot a nuclear barrel, it won't, like, revert and you gotta start all over again. Oh, that's nice. They just keep adding more nuclear barrel- Oh, when that happens! Toxic gas alert! You've done it, and now... Toxic gas fills the room! You gotta get out of there because your air is going down like crazy. Good lord! You barely got out! Phew! You gotta, that's when you come over here. And then you turn on the extractor fan and aha! Yes, yes. This is such busy work. Fortunately, though, uh, from now on, if you hit another barrel, it doesn't do this long cutscene or anything like that. It just oh, things down. You're dead. You're dying now. Got to run back. And then you hit the extractor fan, and then it just. C cuts a lot of time down, but that still means you gotta leave the room, jump over the cables, hit the switch, jump over the cables, and then come back for another shot. Okay. Not too bad. It just means you gotta focus up and make sure it counts. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that skill. All right, and here comes more. Again? Uh, oh, alright. A little earlier. A little earlier. Uh, right here. Okay. Nope. Earlier still. Alright. Fire. There. Boom! Yeah. And then, and oh are my. Are you kidding me? Okay, Are you right. actually kidding me, Rare? Right. I've got I've got that one, I've got that one. Really? We can do it, we can do it, it's okay. No, I have faith in you, it's just, I'm just thinking about how I would play it. <laughs> That'd be the nope, 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 mm -mm, mm -mm, nope. See, it didn't take that long. Okay. And what's also very nice is that they keep it at the level you are at. Oh, they're repeating. I don't know if it changes when you die, but I'm not gonna find out. Cause we're gonna do it right. God oh, damn it! Oh shit! No! <laughs> I've only got 14 more chances. 
Banjo, hold your breath. <laughs> well, I'm holding my breath, but my skin cells are starting to flake off. <laughs> he probably thinks, <sighs> There, I got it! My living tissue hurts! <laughs> Banjo the scientist. Alright. So you kind of have to lead it's it by like, like three. Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh and there's even, it's even faster now! Uh, Ooh, okay. Lead it by three and a half? Three and a half. Right now? About like there, huh? Fuck! Well, okay. Alright, okay, so okay, lead it okay, by three. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, God! Fortunately, we got, we got the extra air and we got, uh,. The, uh... Oh, Jesus, I just the, realized, yeah. The goldfish bonus, too, so that certainly helps matters. I can't imagine doing this on regular air. I feel like that would... Like, I don't know if your air goes and then you die, or your air goes and then your health goes, and then you die. I think, I, I think that's how it goes. And I think it's lead by three. Okay... Three? Yeah. Three. Okay. No. Ah! Damn it! You're learning. Damn it all! All right, safe. We're safe. We can do it, though. We can do it, though. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's this, 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 this last one, and then the jiggy is ours. Why is my f fur falling off, Kazooie? You have an infection. It's terminal. No. I feel like I'm growing something on my ball sack. <laughs> I think it has a face. God, that almost sounds like a parody game. Banjo gets testicular cancer. It's out now on Nintendo 64. Banjo gets testicular, can testicular cancer. Yeah. So we got the Jiggy, but the thing is, it's the Jiggy is over there. Come on. Nah. So there are two things you can do. One, you can either try and be a pro gamer and use the Kazooie Clockwork eggs as a way to kind of skip and sequence break some things. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. That would be very cool. If I could pull it off! <laughs> but I'm a dummy baby gamer who can't do that! <laughs> no, I already called you a superpower gamer! I'm a superpower dumb baby gamer! <laughs> like Baby Genius is the gamer! <laughs> Where I'm actually a little person <laughs> in baby clothes <laughs> saying, Google go, gag, I'm a baby, I can't play video games! <laughs> baby gamer! <laughs> I'm a baby gamer! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Baby gamer who can't sequence break. What like, is this? Like, is that gonna be, uh, you know, after our partnership dissolves, I just start addressing him as like, Hey, what's up? Baby gamer here. Anyway, Google Gaga. It's fucking Banjo Tui. It's uh, some kind of game. I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm some kind of baby. I started like, you know, Oh, sorry. Who do you, who do you want to ask me about? Oh, Ultra Director Baby Gamer? Uh, th no. Ultra, I'm an Ultra Baby Jester. Uh, ultra. That's right. Ultra Baby. I'm better than the average baby because I can think and I can actually use the toilet. Yeah, you stupid other babies. I bet you can't even play solitaire. <laughs> where, so, all right. yeah, where is this? All right, so uh, if we want to get the jiggy, we got to turn into a fucking washer. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I thought we were done with washers I and everything. I thought we were too, but no. the only way to get in there no. is from a service elevator, then oh. past a restricted area zone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. Good, good. Hey, do you remember in Banjo Kazooie 1 how you only had to get these power ups once? I think. Is that is that valid? Well, there was only one power up per like, level. Well, not even that. Some levels didn't even have power ups. Oh, that's right. Mumbo wasn't in every level. No, but here there's a transformation every level. There's stuff for Mumbo to do every level. Okay, they have it's to. It's too have. much. Yeah, they have to have had too much. Too much of this is crap. There you go. You did it. You did. I see that dance. Yeah. I think we can have Kazooie f uh, glide over here with a move she gets in the eighth level, but that's it. Okay, eighth level, God. Yeah. Yeah. It's so far away. I maybe. Know oh no. There's only a couple levels left. It's uh, yeah, two more levels after this. Oh, we're we're getting there. And, and uh, I have mixed feelings on the on the next level. <laughs> but uh, but I'm c I'm coming off. Maybe it might be our maybe maybe it might be okay. It might might be fine. Maybe. That's a big old maybe there. Oh, you shocked a washer. How funny. Go back in the service elevator. So dead. Hey, so fresh. Fresh. This is here. God, mother. Why? Fast. Fresh. Fuck. God! Anyway, yeah. <laughs> 
We did it. We saw his real feelings here for Grunty Industries. So with that, the washer is now over and done for real. Thank God. Uh, okay. That feels good. That's all the washer stuff we're gonna do. The washer is all washed up. Spin dry cycle, the, 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 the buzzer has sounded, now it's time to take things to the dryer. Oh, how convenient. The next transformation in the next level is in fact a dryer. Oh, God. Actually, knowing this game, it would be a single piece of string that you have to tie up to a post. So check it. What? I didn't know that. What? I didn't know that. No. I didn't know that. No. I didn't know that. Did no. you know that? I didn't know that. Where is this? I didn't know that. That I didn't Come know. Come on. I didn't know that because that was something I didn't know. I was Aww. not privy to that information because I didn't know. This is how you get into the electromagnetic chamber. <sighs> okay. Fuck! I was wrong! We need the washer one more time. No! But first, gotta go find Mumbo. Do we now? Now it's time to use Mumbo. For what? A again. Because he has to turn on the electromagnetic chamber. I'm about to explain what I'm about to explain what's gonna happen here. Okay. We're gonna unlock the way to the boss door now. Yeah. So what we gotta do. Uh -huh. is you gotta take Mumbo uh -huh. to the EMP chamber on the third floor. We just opened the way to do that. Mumbo's gonna work on his pad, and then we've got 90 seconds. We've gotta take Mumbo back to his skull, switch back to Banjo-Kazooie, warp over here to Wumba's t uh, t uh, wigwam, turn into a washer, go back up here to the ele electromagnetic chamber, and hit the red button, so you don't shock yourself and die when you hit the button that opens up the way to the boss door. Jesus Christ. Why couldn't it just be hit the button? Why couldn't it just be at the top? Why couldn't it just be Mumbo does it all for you? What is going on? Guys, you have too much stuff in the pot here. There's way too much. There's too many cooks in the kitchen, too many pots in the in the cabinets, too many uh, uh, knives in the back of the Roman Emperor. I don't, I don't. Good lord! Who killed Caesar? Banjo and Kazooie did. So, 90 seconds, go! 90 run, seconds. Run, 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 run! I mean, yeah, go over there. Yeah, run, 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 run. Who cares? Fall damage? Who needs it? Nobody. So this is the second time we've had a gigantic timer that we had to leave Mumbo, go back, and this couldn't have just been solved with a button press. Fortunately, though, it's, like, not that difficult, and there is a huge plethora for a room for error, but, you know, it's just, it's just, really, I gotta do all this? Is There's too many steps involved. <laughs> Bear Bird, go! On throne! Alright, that took about a third of our time. Yep, and I'm sure that transformation, uh, doesn't stop the timer. Fortunately, it does. I can't believe they would actually give that to you. That me. is very generous of them. Okay, jump into the water and it stops the timer. I am here to be a washer again. Sorry, I had a pair of jeans I had to get clean, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, I think the washer's actually faster than Manjo. It is, because it's got wheels. Oh, that's so sad. It's pathetic. It's like a thousand pounds. It's not that heavy, but... So yeah, not not that difficult. You got plenty of time to, to nail it. And why couldn't we do this earlier? Well, we didn't have Mumbo unlocked. I know, but why did we need Mumbo? To turn the place on? Basically to, to make the electromagnetic pulse, make, make this place kind of malfunction. So because of malfunction, the room to the boiler room is open. You know, it's like, oh, we're gonna go go fix this down down in the basement. Hmm. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do now. Going down to the basement. Finally, fight the boss. Good. I hope it's just a giant cease and desist. Just no more Grunty Industries. I'm sorry. This place is polluted. It's disgusting. Well, fortunately, with all this extra work I I, I did here doing this third episode. Grunty Industries is now one of the most complete levels. No way! Yeah. How much extra do you have to do? Like one or two jiggies? I think we got like maybe like one jiggy left and either a Jinjo or a Page. Not that much. That's hilarious. 
the level that is the most hated got the most completed first. Now, now that I've unlocked everything, I don't hate it that much, but just going over everything is just ridiculous. I would have liked it more if they would have just, just did a little less. They just, just just tweak it a little less, not make it so aggravating. It, it would have been completely serviceable. Hey boss, how many of these ideas do you want in the level? Yes. Like, okay, batteries that open up, you know, uh... Like, the, the, those, those batteries that open up the doors, that's fine. But to have it so that ban only Banjo, only Banjo, can do that? That's, that's too much, that's crazy. You telling me Kazooie can't move over for a battery? Alright, well... Wait, I'm confused. I thought that's where you needed to be. You need to go to the basement, but not that way. I need to go to the other basement. You know, where I hide all the kids' toys and candy and dreams of mommy and daddy getting back together. There is another basement. Somewhere. I thought it would be Why? here in the workers' quarters. Why are there two basements? It's, oh, oh, there it is. It's very easy to miss. Alright! This place. I don't even remember this. It wasn't that long ago it's, since we it's, did. It's easy to miss. Ah. All right, do your thing. All right, up here. Yup. Get up here. Show me how to banjo Tui, UDJ. So the idea is we gotta shut down this fan, so we can go access the Cheeto page over there and the uh, jiggy that they have too. Okay. Get some grenade eggs. We're gonna really fucking need them. There we go. And I think we're ready. Alright, fight that boss. So we could, if we were skilled enough, get that page over there without having to drop down. Because that's what the boss is. Uh, but uh, let's let's see how far we can get. Let's see. Yeah, okay. You, yeah, down there is where the boss is. You won't take fall damage if you fall down there. Oh, that's nice. Then over there, that's where the jiggy is. That opens up when you defeat the boss. Oh, okay. So are we fighting a giant fan? Maybe a giant so, wrench? let's get a lined up here. And let's give it a try. Go, go, go! Mm, oh, nope. That, that was a terrible angle to start from. Oh, well. Here we go. Show me. Show me. <laughs> what? What the hell is this? <laughs> What? Yeah. What the hell is it? A battery? D I d a light? A searchlight? I d d I d I'm not too sure. I think it's some sort of spark plug. A giant spark plug. But with teeth. With teeth. Say hello to Weldar. Visually impaired welding torch. Okay, it's a welding it's torch. It's a welding torch. I believe it states quite clearly in the workers' guidelines that bears are not to be let into the building. Well, you're a bear, aren't you? Oh, uh, no, I'm a... I'm a bear. Damn it. I'm not a bear, I'm an ursine. <laughs> an ursine? Well, welcome, Mr. Ursine. Come on in. So, uh... Yeah. As far as bosses that, go, he's- oh, well, well. Jeez. He- he's pretty damn accurate with those things there. So he. Then he's got this sucking move, which you're supposed to throw grenades into, but uh, I figure I can maybe poop one in. It doesn't work like that. He just kind of ate me there. You have to fire them what? into him. I thought that worked! I thought that worked too, it didn't. Well, that's silly. Yeah, oh man, he is really- oh, he is kicking my ass, and he seems to be pretty- He leads the shots! That's hilarious! Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm pressing the wrong button, too. Alright, so we're getting our ass kicked by a welding torch. That's leading shots! I can't believe it! Goddamn right, accurate! Oh, and well, gone. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, uh, that ain't gonna work. Good first experience with the boss. Let's try again, and, oh, uh, God. yeah. They, At the beginning. Fortunately, no. not, not that far to go, but we do have to do all this over again. Fuck. Yeah, well, you know. All right. Extinguish this torch. 
Who's the guy who came up with Welding Torch as the boss? I guess it makes sense. I mean, it's an industry thing. I'm just getting the controls right. This one is the one that's fired. C down and Y. Okay. Alright. Triggered one. Got your mojo back. Alright, got it, got it. Alright, full legs. Jump right back into it. Are you a bear? Yes, and you're gonna die. Oh, shit. Well, uh, die. Well, uh, uh, don't let me stop you. <laughs> Time to turn up the power. I'm a dead shot. Except, you know, so, I need my glasses. So he does that to start sucking. He's firing there and then gulp. Oh. That's what you're supposed to do. D ugh. Please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. Well, then let us live, then. I have a few nuts and bolts. Uh, oh, that's where they got the idea. No. 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 Oh, they're alive. Yeah, I think the the battle stops until you defeat them all, which, you know. I know you gotta do that, but at least that uh, some of them leave a. Uh, I don't know if I can kill them, that is. <laughs> a honeycomb! Hey, there we go! We killed they the just suck, and then, whoop, you gotta be quick on that. Oh dear. Perhaps if I use my weight a little more. Now he's gonna stomp around the arena. He's big. He's gonna stomp after you. It's, it's very scary, but if you're, if you're doing the talent try, you'll be fine. Ah! Could you use invincibility on this fight? Yeah, it'd just be wasteful, though. Well, okay. He slams down there, and then he'll suck in, and then... Uh, do you missed! Oh, oh, oh wait. Man. He's got a big mouth. This isn't going as planned. So now begins his second phase, where he does the exact same thing that he did, except now the floor is electrified. Oh, get out of here, Rare. Get out of here. Really? Everything else is the same except the floor is electrified. Well, unfortunately, the floor can't be lava. Even same with, like, the sucking? Yep. And you really? you'll definitely take a hit with that, for to be sure. Wow! You gotta make sure you tank it. It's kind of unfair. A little. Yeah, and now these are fully electrified. Well... Ow, fuck. Man, this is mean, actually. That worked out. Oh, that was actually really nice. Nah, out. Go, 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 yeah. go! Yeah! All right, one more hit, and I've got, like, what, two, three more hits to, to my name? Yeah. Oh, my God. This is no time for Baby Gamer. I see a pro right here. It's time to turn into a toddler. <laughs> Ultra toddler jester. Ultra two-year-old jester. I'm a big boy now. <laughs> I now have kidney stones. <laughs> I'm a big kid I'm now. I'm a big kid now. Oh god. Oh, there is a actual place where you can hide yeah, from. Yeah, but uh, Oh, get out of here. Oh, no! oh, come on. This kind of reminds me of Mad Jack from DK64, I, mainly just the jumping. I really wish that Rare would have been around with Nintendo throughout the GameCube and Wii era so they could That'd be refine, so refine cool. their sword a bit more, you know? Maybe Grab by the Ghoulies wouldn't be hot garbage. Maybe it wouldn't even be released, it would just be Donkey Kong 64 2. <laughs> I don't know if I want that, honestly. Maybe they would have made the F Zero game we all been waiting no, for. No, 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 no! Uh -huh. right. Did it! That's it! It's over, good night. With one hit left to your name. Oh, well, looks like my welding days are over. Time to die. And there he goes. Ooh. Mm. And so Grunty Industries exploded. It's a good thing I sold all my stock. And now everything is slowing down. Ooh, no more AC. Yeah, good, good thing we're out of here now, here, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little too hot. I mean, I know it's November when this is coming out, but... Jeez. Come to gloat in the corpse of my defeated foe. I learned this on Xbox! It's called teabagging! He can still bite though. Go! <laughs> Go! <laughs> so here, your reward is a shock foot. <laughs> Seriously? No way. So now it's basically... Get out of here. Go get the two things you got. Go get your reward. And go and go get them. Which I guess that makes sense, I suppose. Does it? 
They could just give it to you. Not everything has to talk. They could just give me the Jiggy, yeah, that would be nice, but I could use it to get, you know, the Cheeto page and maybe, you know, go onto the other side to hit a switch that opens up, you know, all the doors, like, ah, the service elevator can now be used by all life forms. Door, 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 something akin to that, something to open up the level even more. That'd be, that'd be nice instead of having everything be so restrictive. God, I love Banjo Dooie. It's... No, I can see where people got the problems. It's still fine. It's still okay. If I was playing this on my spare time, it'd be it'd be fine. I wouldn't have any problems. I guess if you turn this into a pick up and play game, it'd be fine. A little less headaches. And that's okay, I guess. But trying to follow along with this level in particular has been rough. Yeah, it has. It really has. I don't know how we managed to find all the bunnies and all the batteries like that. I, I thought that would be... I thought it would take forever. Well, it's because you're no longer Baby Gamer. You are officially first grader Baby Gamer. Yes! I'm just moving on up in the world. Here's your business suit and your tie. You are ready for true gaming, friend. Maybe by the end of the week I'll be 23 again. <laughs> and... Can you actually miss this? I'm sure you could. Oh my lord, you could actually miss that. That's it, I think I think we're done now. I think we can leave. I think we can leave. I think it's time to leave. The Get time out. for leave. The time for leave is now. Get out. Oh, whistle while you work. Whistle while you get the fuck out of here. Do 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 fuck. It's time to leave, Bancho. It's time to leave. So, uh, let's do, uh, one more thing before we leave. We have enough Cheeto pages to get another ch another cheat. Ooh! So that'll uh, be fun. I'm okay with that. I can't believe you had to open the goddamn door. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. The, the, the next level has a another kind of crazy gimmick, but I think it's going to be a lot more manageable than the past few levels have been. Okay, that's good. And, uh, so far, so good. It's it's just gonna be easy. It's just, it, 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 Smooth sailing! I, I don't think it's gonna be anywhere near as bad as they have been. I don't think anything can get as bad as Pterodactyl Land, which is still my most hated level so far. <laughs> Even after Grunty Industries. To be honest. That's high praise. Or high detest. Here you go. Third sheet is fall proof! No more fall damage? No more fall damage! I contest this though. Uh, uh, why? Oh, have you actually taken damage? I think I've still taken damage that isn't technically fall damage. Hmm. Well, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, back to the temple though. These are actually much better cheats than the first game. First game's cheats were kind of stupid. The way of ending them is a little bit better. F F is for fall damage that we won't get anymore. A is for uh, I'm alive. L is for living. L is levitating. P is for padding on the floor when I die. Fall proof cheat will keep you from being hurt in long falls. So that's nice. Let's go turn it on now. All right, now we're invincible. It, oh, they're not invincible. I think getting hit by projectiles while you're falling uh, doesn't count. Garbo. Yeah. Well. All right, well, I guess. Next time on Banjo-Tooie, new level.